Hi, I'm Valeska Kotz, and I'm going to present the work Total Content of Calcium and Phosphorus in Serum of Vista Rats by an Optimized Method of ICPNS, which was developed in PUCI res Tooth extraction leads to bone loss that affects the aesthetic and function. Therefore, the use of bone grafting during the surgical procedure has been investigated in order to favor this process and maintain the volume of the tissue. Bone remodeling involves mainly three cells, osteoclasts, osteoblasts, and osteocytes that are regulated by local and systemic signals. The bone new formation starts with deposition of colliding fibrils by osteoblasts, followed by the precipitation of ions of calcium and phosphate, forming the hydroxyapatite crystals. This process requires normalized levels of these minerals in blood. Therefore, the present study aims to identify and mitigate matrix effects caused by red serum samples during the simultaneous quantification of calcium and phosphate by SCPMS and evaluate its capability of differentiating element levels from which the red submitted to tooth extraction with or without alveolar bone grafting. 10 Wister rats were submitted to tooth extraction under general anesthesia. Five animals received bone graft inside the socket and were classified as group one. The remaining animals did not receive bone graft and were classified as group two. After 35 days, the animals were euthanized, the blood was collected and centrifuged and stored into analysis. The maxillae were collected and processed for histological analysis. Serum samples were transferred to polymeric vials and added by subboiling nitric acid. The vials were heated to the water boiling point, and after digestion, all samples were added by type 1 water and injected to ICPMS system. To evaluate the digestion efficiency, nitric acid was added to a group of five samples creating dilution factors of one, two, three, four, and five that were used to normalize analyte signals and evaluate matrix effects. The factor five was used to evaluate the time of digestion using other group of five serum samples in five different times. Calibration cures were constructed at concentrations presented here, prepared in 2% nitric acid. Here I present our results. An effective sample digestion was obtained after 60 minutes, which can observe here in red for calcium and in green for phosphorus. The optimal sample acid ratio was obtained from the dilution factor three. However, we fixed the factor five in order to avoid matrix effects. When testing the capability of the optimized method to differentiate levels of calcium and phosphorus in serum of red submitted to tooth extraction with and without bone grafting, the group one showed lower concentration of calcium and higher concentration of phosphorus than group two. And there was a significant difference in the analysis of calcium, which could indicate a higher mobilization of calcium from the blood to the bone in this group. However, it's important to emphasize that this mineral remain inside normal ranges in serum of rats. Therefore, bone remodeling could happen in a standard way in both groups, which was observed in histological evaluation. Human and rats show similar levels of these minerals in blood. Therefore, the results obtained here were similar to the findings of these authors, which also use ICP-MS. In conclusion, a simple and effective acid digestion method was here proposed to allow the determination of total content of calcium and phosphorus in red serum samples with reduced matrix effects. The methodology was able to point a small difference between the groups that stayed inside normal ranges of the minerals to provide normal bone remodeling. This method was considered useful for monitoring calcium and phosphorus in serum samples and propitious for a more comprehensive mineralomics studies related to the bone modeling process in future studies. We thank CNPq and CAPS for the support received. Here are our references. Thank you for your time.